All right, and what's your name again? Pam. Pam. All right, my name is Asa. Nice to meet you, brother. So, do you believe in the Bible? Yeah. Okay. I believe those are stories here. Reading about people. What happened was, we disobeyed God's commandments, right? We was brought into slavery, right? And in our slavery, we was, we didn't know, we, we was retaught the Bible. So they didn't rewrite, there are some versions that have different words in art. Some, they took out some of the things, but this King James Version 1611, it's written how it was written in the Hebrew, and it was translated, right? Bible, right. So we got the we got the Zonovan. Hey, let me get the Zonovan, Officer Shemariah, the Zonovan. So the Bible was just translated. So King James. So King James was a black man. He ruled Scotland because we ruled Europe for like a thousand years. Okay. So 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 in this translation, there's no. Uh, they didn't take nothing out. So if, like, do you know Spanish? So, so if I said hola, what does that mean? Uh, hello. So that's all it was. It was just an, uh, uh, a translation. Right. right. Go ahead. This is a Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. The definition of Bible, the King James Version. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. I said 47 of the best. Hebrew and Greek scholars, right? right? Top-notch people, Read. Of the day, were di divided into six groups. So those 47 were divided into six groups. Three for the Old Testament. So three groups of scholars for the Old Testament. Two for the New. Two groups of the scholars for the New. And one for the Apocrypha. And one group of scholars for the Apocrypha, the hit books, right? Read. Two of the groups met at Oxford, two at Cambridge, and so yeah, so they divided into groups to translate. So it that's it. So they was into different groups and went to translate into the English from Greek, from Hebrew, Greek to English. So now the Bible is written in English, and so it it just it's not in Hebrew because you don't speak Hebrew, right? So it has to be written in the form that we was going to know today, right? Exactly, to our people, so we have an understanding, because you know English, right? So, in slavery, it was retaught to us. They took our book. Give me uh, 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 Maccabees first, 348. That first Maccabees. So, so, they took our records, right, because of our disobedience, they took all our stuff. We went into captivity, and they took all our stuff, right? So go ahead. First Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. Bring it up. And laid open the book of the law. Where you hear that? They laid open the book of the law, which is this Bible. Read. Wherein the heathen. Where who? The heathen. The heathen are the other nations outside of Israel. Had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So they sought to paint the likeness of their images, meaning what? Whitewashing. Right. Right? So let's change Christ from a black man into a so-called white man. Right? Bring it up. So let's change all the prophets into so-called white people. Right? Let's change the image of God into the Sistine Chapel where it's the finger of God. Right? You've seen that? In, it's represent that's, that's uh, supposed to be God. But according to the Bible, that's not true. Right. So us black Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, when we look at the so-called white people, we view them as gods, not knowing because we are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Bring it up. Right? Right? So, uh, so go back to Zephaniah. So you was, because you say you're trying to find something that the black people need to stick together, right? Gather together. Unity, unity right? Unity, because of unity. I know that all of them, all of but are, are you Arab? No, I'm not Arab. So the Muslim religion is an Arab religion. Bring it up. Yeah, so that's not our religion. It wasn't never given to us. Right. Right? And uh, uh, and he was a, uh, uh, that, that is not our religion, right? So go ahead. This, this is our religion. The religion for Israel is the, the laws of God. Read. 
Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. And even in the Quran it says who the children of Israel and who God's people is the children of Israel. So they know. So you guys study, study from the Quran then. Okay. We'll, you'll, we'll get little bits and pieces from other books, but we filter it to this Bible. Right. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. See, God is saying, gather yourselves together. Because again, the children of Israel disobeyed God's commandments and went into captivity. Right. So to come back, he's saying, gather together because we all scattered, right? Right. We, Yay, gather together. O nation, not desired. What nation is not desired? What nation? It's supposed to be seven, right? Seven nations? It's 18 nations. Right. So... What nation is not desired? What nation of people today, people don't want to be that people? What's up, homie? You're far away? You're far away? Because we don't want to be a person. What nation they, they, they turn their nose at? They look, at, they look down upon this nation? All right, man, just make sure you read it. The black people is non-desired, right? Right. We get redlined, pushed down to other to the lower parts of the community, right? That happens to us. So we are the people not desired. Right. Right? Go ahead. Before the decree bring forth. So we're supposed to gather together before Christ comes back and destroys his place. Right. Go ahead. Before the day pass as the chaff. Before the fierce anger of the Lord. Before the fierce anger of the Lord. So that's how we got to gather together. So this Bible is unity, but it has to be under the commandments. That's the unity. The unity of, of, of you wearing Franklin, you keeping your beard, you keeping the Sabbath day holy. That's the unity we have to come under. So if we, so the Million Man March, that was a million black men coming together, right? But you had different philosophies and ideas amongst that whole thing, so it wasn't it unity. Out. Right. And what happened from that march? We still getting shot down in the streets. Right. We still getting arrested. Right. We, we still got uh, public housing. Right. We still got baby mama, baby daddy drama. We still on food stamps, EBT. We still got, uh, uh, what is it? We got uh, gangs in the community. We still got drugs. So did anything change from that? No. But God's word makes you give me one more We hold on this time. But God's words make you perform, make you change. So if you was not once a, a whoremonger or adulterer, so you in that million man march, you having people smoke weed in the million man march. Right. Yeah, but God said don't defile your temple. That's right. Right? So how's that unity? No, not to defile your temple. No, no, no. I said it's a herb. Hemp is used as a herb. Not, not THC. That's to get high, to be intoxicated. Bring it out. Right? It out. And then if you in your lungs, what goes inside your lungs? Air. If in a fire, if there was a fire in your apartment or your house and the person died, what do they die from? Do they die from the fight? Inhalation of the smoke, right? So no smoke is supposed to go in your lungs. Bring it out. You ain't so, oh, this is from God, so let me roll it up in a blunt and light it up. That's not from God. Go ahead. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Bring it up. And be not conformed to this world. So this world teaches that we can smoke weed. Let's legalize it for everybody because, oh, it's supposed to be a healing medicine. Yes, hemp is. But then when you turn it into the, give it the potency of THC, now you add chemicals in there. Right? Go ahead. But be ye transformed. By the renewing of your mind. Now we have to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, meaning what we learned here in America, we can't do that no more. So uh, them passing all these laws that goes against God, we can't we can't be uh, in agreement with that. Right. You understand? Right. Go ahead. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So you gotta prove what is acceptable and that perfect will of God, and what's the will of God? Live by right his word, so you can. He, but I, what I believe is, though, I believe that God is within the person because for him to send the flesh to this earth, yeah, and they, for him to say that that's a prophecy, I believe that he lives within us. So even with people not attending church, 
I still believe that God lives within you. So we are considered God. We are God, yes. Yeah, we are. But it said we're gonna die like men. Right. Yeah, we're gonna die like men. But why are we die like men? Because we're not keeping God's commandments. Jesus. We are now mortal men, so we die. Yeah. So God never intended us to be mortal. He intended us to be immortal. Right. But we fell away from that. So now we're in this flesh. Yeah. Right? Yes. We have a give me uh what is that? Romans, a zeal of God. We have that zeal, but it's not according to knowledge. So you say, yeah, we got the spirit of God in us. Yeah, we, so, in our mind, we think, oh, that might not be right to go and sleep with a, a, a married man's wife or to go sleep with multiple women. You might think that's wrong. You, you might think, yeah, that's not right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right, you have it inside of us, but but where is all that information found? Right, go ahead. Oh, chapter 10, verse 2. So he bears record that they have a zeal of God. So our people have a zeal of God. Lord Jesus, all that, right? Go to church every Sunday, dedicated and sitting ties to the pastor, right? Right, right? We got that zeal, but is it according to what the Bible says? Bring it let's, up. Let's see. But not according to knowledge. Oh, wait a minute, but not what? But not according to knowledge. So we have that zeal of God, praise God, but not according to knowledge. So to go back, what is knowledge according to the Bible? Just whatever. But if you believe the Bible, you believe that all stories are true. That's true. Right? That's so you believe that the curses right. happened to the children of Israel? I believe that. So that's a that that really happened. I believe right? it released 400 years ago. I mean this last year was the 400 year. I believe that it's all things used to the time. Well, we still in captivity. Right. We are. We are. Right? I think that's a mind thing though. So, so in a mind thing, with your license, right? Mm -hmm. Can you drive in your mind without a license and then say, in my mind, I won't get pulled over and get my car towed? I mean, you can't control that, but, it, it, but it's, if black people feel that they're still in captivity, you're going to feel like you're in captivity. You see, you're ready to take that leap of faith and get out there and try for yourself. So, if I take the leap of faith and drive without a license or insurance, and say, oh, there's no, I won't get pulled over at all, and the whole time I'm driving without a license and insurance, that they won't take my car because under captivity, because what's, what's on in that license, what does it say at the top? But what is, what's, state what's, of Texas. State of Texas, Texas. captivity. Right. Right. And what does it say on the dollar bill? United States of what? America, captivity, right. right? Can you get on the plane without no ID, no can, can you even make it past TSA? No, you can't. No, you can't. That's captivity. So it's not about, oh, in my mind, I think we're not in captivity. It's a fact that we're in captivity. Right. Right. Let's read it. Go ahead. Give me a yeah. Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day. Behold, we are yet this day where? In our captivity. In our captivity. I think that's it. I mean. We are in captivity, bro. It's so many ways, yes, but in so many ways, I think that's just because we don't understand how much power as black people that we have. So we also, have the power, but it's not according to knowledge. Again. Right. So go back to knowledge. Read. Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. Uh -huh. For the priest's lips. For the priest's lips, the leaders of the, of the Bible, right? Read. Should keep knowledge. So the priest should keep the knowledge. Let's see what the knowledge is, what the priest should have. Read. And they should seek the law. They should seek what? The law. So they should just seek their own mind. The law at his mouth. So we're supposed to seek the priest, the law from them. Out of the priest's lips, they should have the law. And where's the law found? Come to Baruch 4 and 1. What is the law? Where's the law found? I got a number. Yeah, the number's on that flyer. Yeah, so what I need to do is get it. There's a phone number on that bus. I go all day with y'all, but I got my old lady waiting. All right, check that with this last script. All right. Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the book of the commandments of God. The uh, nation of the Islam don't teach this. Right. Uh, what is it? Uh, Muslims they ain't teaching this. They took some of it from us. Right. But they're not teaching the whole thing. They got the beard and all that. The, the Muslims, the real Muslims got beards. The Bible said we're supposed to have a beard. But NOI don't teach you how to supposed to have a beard. Bring it up. 
right? right? Go ahead. And all the law that endureth forever. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the book of the commandments of God. And the law. And the what? And the law. And the what? And the law. And the law. That endureth forever. This is what endures forever. Because when Christ returns and we in the kingdom of heaven, Lord's will, that we still got to keep the law. Right. right. We still got to keep the Sabbath day. Right. We can't eat pork, shrimp, crab, or lobster. Right. So we got to do this here now to practice, to get ready. Because when that happens, then we got to be make sure we are fit to be uh, welcome into the kingdom. Right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That? I'm going to get, I'm gonna have to come meet up with y'all, man, and sit down and talk, get to learn a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and finish this off. And all that keep it, all that keep the book of the law, shall come to life. You will come to life if you keep the book of the law, if you do what it says. But if you don't, you in Proverbs 21, 16. But such as leave it, such as leave this law, shall die. You will die. Right now, we are in a, our people are in the congregation of the dead. Because we're not keeping God's law, so we walking aimlessly like zombies, the walking dead, trying to figure out where do I go? Do I go to be a Muslim? Do I go to be Buddha? Do I go to be uh uh what? Do I do yoga? Do I what? Where do I go? We looking for it. We have a zeal of something a higher being, but it's been right here this whole time. We used to scream Black Power while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day. Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.